Bonjour everyone, welcome to another Diecast Showcase. Uh, so, today's episode is going to be a little mail call from my good friends at Tokyo Station. TokyoStation.ca Probably the best store in Canada for all your D D JDM Diecast needs. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, crack this little box open. It took a while to get here because there was a couple of pre-orders in here, so I had to wait for those to obviously not only get released, but arrive in stock at Tokyo Station. So, uh, yeah, we'll just crack the, box, crack the box open, see what I got. We're going to use that trusty box cutter. Get this thing open and see if everything matches what I ordered. Got a couple of uh, new premium brands I'm going to be uh, trying out and checking out for the first time. So this is going to be an interesting one, well, at least to me. Um, so, first and foremost, uh, very nice packaging, very well protected. You can already see a little hint of red over here, so I already know what that is. Alright, we're going to check these items out one by one, just to make sure that the and get a full scope here of uh, the coolness. All right, so they made me a couple of small packages and they were nice enough to actually separate these by brand. Cool, all right, so let's start with a brand that uh, everyone in the diecast world is familiar with. And obviously, since we're talking about JDM, we all know what that stands for and you can probably see right away what I'm referring to. Got a couple, uh, couple new Tomica editions, again. Um, so we're gonna be checking out. Uh, these are fresh, pretty fresh releases uh, from Tomica. Got one premium in here. Uh, sorry, three premiums in here and uh, one uh, mainline or basic, however you'd like to call it. So, all right, brand new, still in the shrink wrap, not opened. Perfect. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, we're going to be unboxing all, all, uh, all four of these uh, for everyone's uh, viewing pleasure. Alrighty, so let's start off with the little main line here. The main line that we're adding to the collection is the R34 GTR police car. Starting to have a nice little collection of these police cars, unmarked or unmarked. So it's definitely very cool. Get this thing out of the box uh, or out of the packaging. See uh, what it looks like. Well, I've seen you know photos of this thing unboxed already, so I know what it looks like out of the box. But it's never the same when you're holding this in hand. So exciting stuff! All right, let's check this out. Let's get rid of the cellophane here. All right, now that's out of the way. Open this box here. unmistakable rear end as you can see funny that it's written police in um in cursive on the back very interesting very interesting cool okay all right excellent all right let's check this out a little closer here so as you can see got the infamous sport wheels those uh deep dish uh wide uh four spokes with the chrome lip this time uh, this is a windows closed model <clears throat> Pardon me does not have any opening parts does have front uh, lens uh, headlamps and also this uh, It looks like a hood protector, but it's actually not uh, this is actually um, To actually prevent or prevent as much as possible uh, if this car would happen to be in a car chase uh, and the perpetrators that are being chased are armed. This is actually bulletproof. And this is installed on a couple of uh, police cars in Japan. Uh, furthermore, obviously, if there's anything thrown at the car, well, you know, at least there's a there is more of a chance they'll they bounce off and don't shatter the wind the windscreen. You've got the uh, V-shaped um, or boomerang shaped, depending on which way you look at it. V-shaped boomerang shaped uh, police uh, strobes on the roof. Obviously, it's a GTR, so it's going to be a right-hand drive. 
You were never made in left-hand drive, although some were converted, especially European imports uh, in Europe. Nice base, plastic base. Here's your model details, 162 scale, 2021 uh, license date. And this was a, uh, as mentioned, pretty fresh release. It's part of the current lineup, so got uh, also the uh, little GTR logo with the, the Skyline logo or GTR logo. Oh no, it's actually a little police uh, police emblem in the front grill. The little five point uh, flower slash star thing. It's really cool. Oh no, great addition. Plastic wing eh? on this plastic wing. So very nice. Nice and heavy in hand as well. They tend to be feel heavier in hand when they're uh, when they're uh, windows closed models for some reason. I don't know why. We'll just uh, put the box back here so we can uh, make a little nice uh, nice little Tomic I set up uh, in the forefront. Oh boy, this one wants to roll over. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Put it right over here instead. Be a little bit less of a, a roll there. All right. All right, next up, I've got a trio here of uh, trio of uh, Tomica premiums. I'm going to start with one that's in a little bit of an older release, but it's still widely available online if you guys are into this car. So it's the uh, Nissan S13 Silady. So Silvia Fronan with a 180SX, um, well, front clip actually, with the rest of the car being of a 180SX, so the hatchback. Uh, this is this was also released under Atomica Dream Series, um, the um, infamous initial D with the uh, female tan um, female duo uh, driving. So this is kind of like the same thing, and there was also a limited edition in Midnight Purple that was released. Unfortunately, that one was not available. So hey, I went with the blue. It's got the initial D, uh, all the initial D styling cues, except for the fact that it's got a. Uh, regular type x wing instead of like the kind of like the duckbill uh drag wing so but other than that it's pretty much the same as the uh, initial d uh, release so let's get her open let's see what she looks like out of the package focus on the uh on that gtr will uh get the cellophane removed Yeah, and these things uh, ship directly from uh, the uh, adjoining province to uh, Quebec, right, right from Ontario and the Toronto area. So um, it's all local postage. So it's free shipping for orders over $100. Same thing for you guys in the U.S. Eh? If you guys buy over $100 at this uh, store, you've got some free uh, free shipping to the U.S. So Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. We've got this little... Uh, Little pamphlet again here that uh, we saw a bunch of times in the previous video. So, close this up again. All right, so we're gonna have some uh, Nissan action to start off. Oh, yeah. Oh man, this is so heavy. So heavy. I think this is a metal base, guys. Is it metal or it's just really good quality plastic? I'm not even sure. But yeah, the uh, BBS style rims are very, very nice. Kind of BBS, or I should say mesh or cross spoke. or Very nice and gold with the chrome lip or the silver lip. Got opening doors on this one. Atomica Premium obviously brings a host of uh, further details. But uh, they don't necessarily change up the interior a whole lot. As you can see, we've still got that... Uh, Frisbee steering wheel, very nondescript uh, instrument cluster, gauge cluster. Uh, but, you know, overall, without to paying too much attention to the interior, very good, very good detail. You have that, that 180SX uh, emblem that's appropriately sized on that B pillar. No mirrors. Um, these are plastic wheels, by the way, despite the fact that they're. Uh, replicates of the uh, real car wheels uh we've got some lens front uh front lights 
actually the whole front bar because it's got the older style Sylvia front grille as opposed to the 92 and later model. Um, yeah, later style, uh, the Kauki uh, style uh, front bumper as well. So very nice model. It's got the later style uh, rear lights as well. So this is this is literally like uh, this could be bought through a Nissan dealership in 98. Very, very cool. All the Type-X stuff. And I love the fact that on the premium ones, they do detail out the exhaust to a certain extent. So very, very nice car. I definitely am happy to add this one to the collection. I'm a big S13 fan. My favorite out of the S chassis cars. Um, next, we are going to be checking out a new release for the current wave of Tomica Premium. It's going to be the AW11 First Gen MR2. This is the regular version in white. So there is a commemorative edition, the red box edition that also uh, is out in red. A little bit harder to get, but I really wanted this in white. So I went with, um, oh, and actually if you want to see the difference and at the same time, I'll show you what the last of the premiums is. A red box commemorative looks like this. As opposed to the black one and it's going to be a different color wave and this is more uh it's exclusive to uh to the release basically uh the first release and if free release you won't get the red box versions so uh this one is the celica xx as you can see um and uh, yeah so two old school toyotas the regular version of this is going to be like kind of like a gold with a dark gray lower part and here we got the, the the panda panda setup that was made infamously famous by initial d on the a86 so let's start by unboxing the mr2 mr2 i love the first gen mr2 love the blocky boxy look of these cars Although I do like the second gen as well very much. MRS, uh, not that uh, into it, but there you go. MR2. Let's get this thing out of the box, see what it looks like outside. This, as well as the Celica, has a very cool feature that is sorely lacking in general in the diecast world for uh, 80s cars. And that would be... that it has pop-up lights. Ta-da! So no uh, closed light, open light variations like the Matchbox. These can be either or, depending on your preference. See, you can even adjust them to have just like that little, a little wink style, uh, not, not independently, but just like partially open. So this is a, uh, you can see from the single uh, vent on the side here and as well as the script on the door this is a supercharged for so our 4a gze in mid-engine position nice work on replicating the little teardrop uh, factory wheels exhaust is done up we've got some nice uh painted uh, lights on the rear oh, slight little paint issue here But uh, yeah, that's not too bad. I've seen worse from other brands. So, um, and yeah, this one has also a right hand drive. You can see it's got the clear T tops, which is always cool. Side micers are done as well, which is great. Nice details added to this car the Toyota logo and script on the, on the front. They uh, even took the time to black out the grill, so that's great because it adds a little bit of depth. But this is a very, very nice model. I really like this car, and it's definitely by far my best uh, AW11 uh, casting that I have in the collection. And uh, yeah, last but not least, let's check out the Celica. Which, uh, in this case, since Tomicas do tend to have quite frequently moving parts. This is a case where we're looking at a Tomica Premium that actually has two 
moving features, which I find is pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome, definitely. So, there we go. Out of, the, out of the packaging, out of the box. Put this one, uh, make a, a little bit of room here. Just trying to rearrange this so we can check all of them at the same time. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Put this over here right away. Let's get, the, get this out of the bag. All right, and here's your Celica XX. Very nice, and this one also has pop-up lights. They're actually on this side, on this in this case, they're controlled by a little stock under the car, as you can see here. So closed, open, closed. All right, I could do that all day. It's not to get crazy. Yeah, this one also actually has this, which makes it much more easier. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right. So, wheels definitely on point. We've got also the opening doors with the very cool kind of like orangey terracotta colored interior, which is actually painted and it does have overspray on the doors a little bit. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got the big uh, clear window for the hatch. Got some uh, lens lights in the back. Exhaust tip is also done on this one. And we've got some nice painted details on the front. A little Toyota badge in that front grill, passenger side in this case. Very nice, very nice. So this is also 162. I didn't actually check what the scale was on these uh, other ones. This is a 160. As you can see, uh, this was licensed uh, 2022, so a very fresh release. Same for this one. Very fresh release. And I did not check the scale on the Silady. The 162 scale on this one. 2020 release, so tw uh, 2020 license, so 2021 release. So that's a pretty good start to this haul, if I do say so myself. Um, good. Go ahead and check out what we can we can scope out next in this box here. Okay, got a little bit of packaging here. All right, I did also decide to add some tarmac works to the collection. This is going to be my first, I believe, my first tarmac works. Yeah, okay, so my first, uh, yeah, officially my first Tarmac works. Cool, very cool. All right, so, uh, well, first one that I got actually got on special. For whatever reason, it was extremely cheap uh, compared, well, I mean, the Tarmac, especially in the Global 64 range, is not that expensive. I mean, it's going to cost you pretty much maybe, what, 50% more than a Hot Wheels Premium, but with much more than 50% more quality. So, I mean, obviously, uh, so... We've got a legend here to start off the Mazda RX-7 EFD with the Mazda Speed Mazda Speed A Spec body kit, which is my favorite factory back body kit by far for uh, RX-7. Uh, this version specifically, and um, besides in a, the REMME a Super G uh, body kit, I mean I I find it's the best looking kit for an FD. So. Let's uh, get this one out of the cellophane as well so we can take just a better look at it, basically. Probably open the box too, because uh, these don't come attached to a base that uh, you need a screwdriver to take off. So it's quick to, uh, you won't have to wait too long to see what it looks like. Uh. All right. So here's your box art. Right. Very cool. Very cool. 
you go. So an innocent blue Mika. Let's get this thing out of the box too. See what uh, see what uh, this looks like uh, outside the packaging. We'll keep the box uh, on display here on this one. We'll just put it aside. Oh wow! Holy moly! This thing is way heavier than I would have expected, honestly. Way heavier. Yeah, okay. Let's check on this here. Alrighty, so here's your Mazda Speed FDRX7. Very nice uh, three-piece uh, five-spoke rims with the gold face and the polished lip and hardware. Nice little spoiler that's plastic, plastic insert. Very nice exhaust on the back. Got all the uh, JDM badging, the uh, Infini uh, Dorito-shaped uh, little logo in the back, as you can see here. Signals are very well done. You've got those rubberized little mirrors, which is great. Less of a chance of them breaking off. And the fronts are definitely lensed, and there are actually little inserted pieces inside that the larger lens for the lower lights, the bumper lights. Very nice pop-up lights. These ones do not open, obviously, but very nice blue, though. Very, very nice blue. Very metallic. Mm, wow. Yeah, definitely not too shabby. Definitely not too shabby. Rubber tires too, eh? Metal base, metal body. Or oh, is this plastic? No, it's plastic base, sorry. Plastic base, metal body. Here you go. There's your base. See the exhaust finish, and this is screwed together, so very easy to wheel swap and customize. Although, I don't see what I would possibly change. I mean, this is perfect. The blue on gold combo for the body color and wheel color is excellent. Again, classic body kit. And again, right-hand drive. So there you go. Now that's a really, really nice one. Let's put this in front of the... Uh, oh, let's do a little bit of color coding here. We're going to put this right in front. Since it matches the color of... Uh, actually, yeah, probably going to look... Yeah, probably going to look good there. Yeah. Good. And... The other Global 64 piece that I decided to buy was a casting I didn't have in the first place, and I found it was a good continuity for this uh, this one that I showed off earlier, the Eno 64 uh, Pandem uh, GTR 32 drift car in the police livery. Um, I thought that um, I could complement it with another uh, very recent release from Tarmac, uh, which would be... The JZX100 Chaser with the Vertex body kit and the Belize livery. Another drift car in Belize livery. I mean, I thought they'd look kind of cool together, you know. It's a good uh, good theme, best in Paris. That's something I love to do, pair up die cast to go really well together. And I think this hits the mark, definitely. You can see also the big difference in size of the uh, R32 versus the uh, big body Toyota. So... It's also very nice to see for these uh, true 164 scale cars. So, let's check out the Chaser. Uh, as Adam C. would say, uh, everybody loves a white Chaser. I mean, I also love police livery Chasers, so especially when they have a Vertex body kit, some three-piece uh, wheels, and, uh, you know, they set up to drift around a the track there, so... Here she is outside the packaging, better view. And for our viewing pleasure, let's get her out of the box. Again, I'm gonna put the box down on display. But look at that, guys. Look at this. So cool, look at this thing. It's got the old school police strobe with the uh, bullhorn on the roof, 
Again, those uh, I like rubberized mirrors. Lens lights, nice intercooler details. You got the fog lights going on there as well. Wheels look kind of like Workmeister. Kind of. Got the Japanese plate on the back. Big exhaust. Great body kit. Black interior. Of course, red hand drive again. I mean, it's just a great looking model. It's a great, great looking model. Definitely nice. Definitely, definitely nice. So, plays this with its uh, Nissan police counterpart. There we go. Definitely got a theme going on here, eh? And uh, we will finish off with uh, the last two pieces that I got in this order. These I will not be opening right away, though, because they require a little bit more work. A little, little bit more work. So. All right. So this is a new... Uh, New um, brand I'm also adding to the collection. So um, these would be the BM Creations vehicles, which are really cool because not only do they come with a bunch of castings that are not produced by other die cast manufacturers, but they also come with extra parts so you can customize the car. Uh, I'll give you an example. Well, I'll give you an example. I'll show you an example, actually. So, first one that I picked up is their most recent release that's available. Their most recent new casting that's available, I believe. There may be another one that came out after, but uh, it would be this Mitsubishi Lancer GTI. Uh, 1988 model. We got these in the U.S. as the Mitsubishi Mirage and also uh, as the Dodge Colt. So this is a sedan version as you can see and here it's in stock form. This comes with extra wheels, deep dish five spokes. It comes also, I don't know if you can see this through the cellophane, but right on top here uh, you actually have a little uh, sticker sheet with a uh, red pinstripe that, that uh, is normally on the GTI model but not on the base model as shown here. And you also have the GTI, st uh, GTI style uh, bumpers and side skirts that you can add to the car. All this in 164 scale and uh, well, it's about, uh, it's under 20 bucks. So, you know, you got rubber tires, lens lights, all the features that you'd expect, mirrors, uh, uh, all the fine detailing basically. And possibility to customize so very cool very very cool BM creations guys so they don't really have any type of uh... yeah, there you go if you want to uh, go ahead and check out what they have might need that as well And there you go. So very cool. Can't wait to play around with this. This is going to be for a future unboxing, basically. Um, definitely, uh, I don't even know where to put this anymore. Well, how about that? How about this? How about we just take this away here, put this here. Take this little S13. Kind of change these around a little bit. There we go. Maybe we could do that like that, like that, like that. And there we go. And we'll just put this one on top here. Like this. Alright. And last but not least is another BM Creation. Same concept, same thing, except this one doesn't come with a sticker sheet. It does come though with the and this one, as opposed to being in stock form like you see with the Mitsubishi here, it's in the modified form. This is the 1996 Toyota Corolla AE100. Um, and this one, as you can see, you've got the suspension that's in its lowered position, the wide four spoke that kind of look like work equips. Um, and you've got the... Um, Sport front bumper, little side skirts that are already on the car, and you've got the stock parts that are included in here. So definitely cool. This is the third color wave of this specific one that they've done. And uh, yeah, the two first waves were sold out. So definitely put myself in line to get this one. This is the one that held back a little bit the shipping. 
um, literally. So uh, very happy to have that. This may seem like a nondescript card, but these cards basically do have a whole bunch of um, this generation Corolla or the Carina uh, also, the uh, slightly more luxurious counterpart of the Corolla sold on other markets. They are actually do have motorsport pedigree. They ran in the BTCC, they ran in the JTCC, um, and they were replaced with the Corolla Xeve um, in uh, 98, I believe, 97 or 9, maybe even 96, 96, maybe. Either way, there was a transition, 96, 97. So yeah, these are gonna be open on a future episode. And definitely if you'd like to see that episode, well, I do invite you to uh, subscribe so as to make sure that you can actually be informed of when I upload next. Also, um, if uh, you enjoyed the video, well, please do uh, like the video, uh, comment your feedback, tell me what you think, which of these models are your favorite, uh, are there any of uh, which you already have in your collection, um, you know, it's always fun to interact with you guys, so uh, don't be shy. On that, uh, I'll definitely uh, wish you a great weekend, uh, happy hunting, hoping uh, you find what you're looking for, and uh, I will definitely catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.